Hey YouTube, welcome to TC10, the crazy troll nation of YouTube. I am just really going through right now and the crazy because of things like that and starting off a video putting on chapstick as if I didn't know that my lips were dry or as if I didn't know I was going to do a video. But I'm thinking that's become such a part of my introduction that it's always going to be this way. <laughs> Unless I already have one a full face of makeup. Troll because I consider myself a troll when I put on face paint. A cute troll but a troll nonetheless. Um, my head is still all over the place. This is day two of finding out that my mother tested positive for COVID. I did call and get a update from the nursing home. She doesn't have any symptoms. Um, her fever still is 97.4. All of her other stats are good. Oxygen levels are good. Respiration is good. And so I'm just, I'm hopeful, but I'm afraid to be too hopeful because I'm just... Yeah, and so I developed a headache as I was updating one of my aunts on the update from the nursing home. And so I'm just beside myself. But this video is about the BK brushes. Um, beautiful, beautiful brushes. Um, I received them earlier than expected. Um, they gave me a date of when they would be delivered and then they got here like a week earlier. So I had these for two days. Um, I washed them this, yesterday. So they were dry today. Um, I'm not really feeling these brushes, and I'm going to explain why. Um, I did get the, I think it was the essential set, the one that came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brushes, and it came with this one, a contoured foundation brush for free. So, you got a total of nine brushes, and it was on sale. I think the code was MOM20, so it was like 20% off. So, I'm like, oh, who wouldn't want like a nice, pretty, you know, set of brushes? that the reviews that I did see on YouTube were saying how great they were. And the woman who designed these, her name, I don't even want to lie to you. <laughs> this is the card that came in the box. And her name is Lisa. I believe Lisa J here on YouTube. But it just says Lisa. Well, the note, and then it has Lisa down here. Um, wonderful person. I did watch her videos and about her brushes and everything. I'm not feeling it because... Um, out of the nine brushes, there's four that just touching them, I'm just kind of like, these feel synthetic. And I have, I only use synthetic brushes because I'm allergic to natural hair brushes. So I don't have a choice unless I just want my eyes and my face to be irritated and to be breaking out, which, who, I don't want that. Like, y'all see all this stuff? I have nothing on my face today. So this is how my face is anyway. I don't need for this to be more trollish than, than it already is. And so I'm going to just run through the brushes the ones that I do like how they feel mostly um, <laughs> the 101 which is a contoured um, foundation brush which is very similar to this is a real techniques brush and it says insta cheek insta pop cheek brush and I've used this one for foundation and I loved it for that because of the shape you can just go under your eye with it or you can do it this way under your eye and around your nose and or if you're using it for powder you can just press the powder here especially if, it, if it's a loose powder because you guys know how it goes everywhere so I have used this even though it's a cheek brush for foundation and so I thought well that's pretty cool to actually have a foundation brush shape this way and as you can see the BK brush is larger the shape is not um anything unheard of or unseen because even real techniques had this and i've had this i think for at least a year and so it's not revolutionary but it's still a nice brush so this one it feels soft um the back side of it does feel synthetic-y and that's what i don't like but the bristle part this part does feel really soft and the bristles are not even I did have some minor shedding um, with two of the brushes when I washed them. I am rough with my brushes when I wash them. If they can last through washing, I know they will not shed on my face. And this one has two hairs that are just going wherever they want to go. So I'm I'm on the fence about whether to go ahead and try these because I'm I'm at the point in my life with makeup and life in general where I don't want to have to make myself like something. I just want to get it and be like, oh wow, this is great, and then apply it or use it and be like, oh, this is lovely. And so that's why I'm on the fence on what to do with these brushes. The other one that to me does feel soft, it definitely does feel synthetic. 
and I'm saying that because I have other brushes, all of my brushes are synthetic, I know I just said that, but none of my other ones feel, to me, synthetic. This is the 102 brush, and it does feel soft. However, like my Fenty setting powder brush, to me, is way softer than the BK brush. And so that's what I'm kind of going by. It's like I do like soft brushes because I do have sensitive skin, so I don't need anything that's going to be irritating. Also, this brush is the Sephora Pro Flawless Light Powder Brush, number 50. Liked it so much I bought a second one. This one I had longer, which is why it's more splayed out. This is the newer one. But I use these equally for powder. And th this to me is like so soft. Not as soft this one is this is not as soft as this this is like extremely soft and so when i was opening her brushes and after i washed them i'm just like i have brushes that are softer and so i i'm on the fence because i don't want to make myself like them when i know i have other brushes that are really soft that i will most likely gravitate to and this is another sephora brush this is the number 50. this i've had about 15 years <laughs> And it is still like super soft. This is the new number 50. <laughs> so the handle's different. Um, the black one is longer also. And it's the shape is a little wider than the silver old 150. I mean the silver 50. Number 50, 50. 15 years and this brush is still going strong. No shedding problems, no anything. And so that's something else I'm thinking about is if these are not as soft as my other ones, is this going to last me, you know, 15 years like this brush has? Or, so I don't know. But, and this is strange because I'm showing you the ones that I do feel are softer and the ones that I may like if I use them. So I feel weird comparing them to other brushes like these are not that soft. This one is um, number 205 and it's a slanted blending brush. <laughs> Slanted blending brushes are nice, but it just doesn't feel special. Like the special softness, like, oh my gosh, it's so good. Like this brush, oh. And eyeshadow brushes, it's like, ugh. Oh. And then I'm just like, I love the shape of it though. <laughs> this is a smudger brush, 204. I was excited for this one. And this one feels good. It's short and it's stubby, great for you know, lower lash line, or even if you want to do your upper lash line, or define your wing or your outer V, or even for um, your brow bone color or your inner corner. So I was excited for this one because it is like a short stubby brush, and I do have other brushes similar, you know, pencil brushes, you know, for inner corner, your highlight. And I have two of these hourglass brushes, and I use these for underneath my lower lash line, um, lower lash line and also my inner corner. And so I'm thinking like, you know, would I use this? And I do have a bullet brush that I also use for liner underneath and liner up top. And so I'm wondering like, why did I buy this set of brushes? I've been online shopping a lot and I think that's my coping, coping mechanism lately. And I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop. Um, so, and this is the number 203, which is a shader brush. And this one isn't that soft either. And I'm going to compare it to the Sephora number 14 this one i've also had about at least 15 years back when they had the silver handle brushes <laughs> this is starting to get a little pokey however i've had it for about 15 years 15 years and it's it's kind of, it feels the same to me this the bk one feels the same to me as this one and this one is 15 years old so i'm kind of just like i don't know and even though this is in the soft pile, now that I'm touching them and comparing them again with other brushes, I'm just like, they're not really as soft as I thought they were. This one feels synthetic. This one feels plasticky. This one is the 104. And it is fluffy. I, I know it would be nice for loose powder. Um, it's sort of like a smaller version of the 102. I love the color. I love the style of the brush. I I just want a soft brush. And I'll compare this again. Well, not again, but I'll use the Fenty setting powder brush to compare it to this one as well. So I'm I'm let me guys know what you think cuz I sometimes people just don't want to do bad reviews and I'm not 
considering this a bad review, just my honest review on how they feel compared to other brushes that I have in my collection. And so I'm wondering like that other people just not want to say this is not as soft as such and such a brush or whatever because all the reviews I've seen on these were really great reviews. The one thing that made me question after I ordered them because then I started looking at more reviews was you know the big name you know Michelle Wang, um, Mel Thompson, um, Kinky Sweat Alicia and watching their videos and other people doing videos of like their favorite brushes there may have only been one of the BK brushes in their favorite list. And so then I was kind of thinking like, hmm, why is that so? <laughs> However, people who did just order the collection, they were like, oh, these are great, these are great. So I'm just, so I started wondering like, are people just not wanting to say anything bad? And I don't want to say anything bad. I'm, this is just my honest opinion based on other brushes I have. This one feels the most synthetic-y of all. And even looking at it, it's shiny. It looks like plastic. It's 103, the number 103 brush. And again, comparing this to other brushes, I'm, I, I, I don't know. Um, this is the, <laughs> The 202, which is which is a blending brush. You can see it better on my forehead because of my coloring versus my hand. And I pulled out, I didn't pull out any brushes to compare this to. I have numerous blending brushes. I have, these are all of my eyeshadow brushes. <laughs> um, yeah, this is um, Sephora Pro Crease number 19. So I guess I can compare it to that one. The BK one is a little bit longer, a little more tapered. But the Sephora one is so much, so much softer. Like even on my hands, it feels prickly. I... Lisa, I'm sorry. You're a beautiful person. I've seen your videos. <laughs> this one I was excited for, the 201. Cause it is a blunt um blender brush and i was excited for this one because i have a blunt blender brush from fenty their number 220. this is so soft this one is not and you know what if i didn't have all these other brushes to compare then maybe i wouldn't know the difference but because i i do have other ones to compare um, I love the idea of a blunt blending brush because you can just blend out and the color will diffuse and go where you want it to go um, versus just a regular blending brush or something like this one as rounded, which will just keep the color um, concentrated in the middle. So I was excited for this one, but just touching it, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. And also I, I was I can compare it to the real techniques. This is their deluxe crease brush. And I use this sometimes. I stamp in color in my crease and then I go back and blend it. And it's shaped somewhat similar. The BK one is taller. Um, which makes it more which makes it fluffier. This one is more dense, and so you do get a more direct um blend with this one and also stamping on the color i think it would be more saturated with this one and this is even though this is a real techniques brush to me it's still softer than the bk brush i'm really curious to know what your experience is with the bk brushes in comparison to other brushes and so again these are all of my eyeshadow brushes these are all of my eyeshadow brushes these are the brushes I usually use for um, concealer and foundation. And I have sponges for foundation as well. And these are my powder and um, let me put this over here because I use it for foundation too. And these are my powder and um, my powder brushes in here. And then also this one from Hourglass. And so that's this video and I'm, I apologize for being such a pessimist. Uh, but I'm just curious, like, am I the only one <laughs> who's conflicted about these brushes? And I want to use them, I want to try to love them, but then part of me is like, well, if I don't really like how they feel, 
why even try them? Um, and so I, that's where I'm kind of stuck because it still did cost a pretty penny, even on sale. Um, let me know what you think. And I'm going to end the video because I don't want to keep saying the same thing. But I'm, I am just genuinely curious because I haven't seen any videos with someone saying anything other than these are the best brushes ever. And as I said, maybe it is because I have so many other brushes. So 